Okay, so my next question is for 2011, question 8A. So you're asked to answer the questions below about methane, ethene, and benzene. And you're asked to describe the mechanism of the monochlorination of methane. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm adding methane. And when I add to methane, I'm going to be adding my chlorine, okay, and I am making a chloroalkane, okay, HCl then is going to be left over. So this is what I'm looking at making. Okay, you have to recognize this is an alkane, and I'm adding chlorine to make a chloroalkane. That means you need to recognize it is a free radical substitution reaction. Okay, and this is something that has to be learned. So we have homolytic fission of chlorine molecule into two chlorine free radicals okay by ultraviolet light okay alternatively you can just use the equations okay so that will get you a few uh, free marks or first so that's the first. The second one then is propagation A. So this chlorine free radical attacks methane. And when it's on that or does that, it forms hydrogen chloride and a methyl free radical. Okay, so again, this chlorine free radical attacks a methane molecule, CH4, and it drags one of those HCLs away to give hydrogen chloride and one of the H's is gone so it gives a methyl free radical here. Okay, then we have propagation B, where the methyl free radical attacks another chlorine molecule that's present. And it forms methane and a chlorine free radical again. Okay, so my methyl free radical is what I have here, and that attacks another chlorine molecule, Cl2, to form chloromethane, which is this, plus. And I have one chlorine free radical occurs. Because I have this free radical, okay, this step can all happen again. Okay, so we have to state that a chain reaction occurs. And for as long as Cl2 is present, you're going to end up with the chain reaction occurring. Okay. The final step then that we have is termination. Okay, this is how it ends. And the reaction ends when the free radicals combine together. Okay, and you have to give the equations really here. So we have our chlorine free radical combining with a methyl free radical to form more chloromethane. 
we have our chlorine, two chlorine free radicals can combine together to make Cl2. And finally then, my two methyl free radicals can combine to form ethane. Okay. Next then, you're asked for three pieces of evidence. Okay. We have loads of evidence here. Okay. Firstly, um, the first piece of evidence is that UV light is needed. Okay, the reason why is because the reaction will not take place in the dark. Okay, so that's the first piece of evidence that I need UV light. The second piece of evidence that we have is that for every photon absorbed, so for every energy absorbed really, many chloromethane molecules are formed. This shows that we have a chain reaction. Okay. The next one is if we add something like tetramethyl lead, Okay, and this is a source of free radicals. Okay, this promotes the chain reaction. Okay. All right. Uh, next one then is my evidence is ethane is formed. And that shows the presence of my methyl free radical. Okay, there is more there as well. Um, you also have the presence of inhibitors. They can obviously slow down. Um, so there is others, but they are the big ones. 